Happy right. to have you. Come on, sit down. So I understand that uh, you have to tell me more about WellBrain, but I understand that WellBrain is a digital chronic uh, pain management platform um, that's really fighting uh, the opioid epidemic. So yes. I'm excited to talk to you about that. Obviously, the Addiction Moonshot is uh, really near and dear to our hearts, our most recent health moonshot. So um, let's start big. Let's start with the health moonshot question. Uh, what is the big audacious goal that WellBrain's going after? So the big audacious goal we want to accomplish is basically eliminate dependencies on painkillers and then also halt the opiate epidemic on a worldwide basis, okay. and specifically for those who are in chronic pain. Mm -hmm. So that's the big, that's big par paradigm. Thing. All right, well, let's get right into it. Yeah. What are you doing to do it? So, like, like you mentioned, WellBrain is a digital health chronic pain management platform, and what we want to do is change the paradigm 25 years out to incorporate the mindset of people thinking of emotional and mental health as a core component prior to pharmacological solutions or other types of solutions. Okay. So in our digital health chronic pain management platform, what we do is we enable physicians to choose from an array of evidence-based non-opiate modalities. Okay. We started out with a point solution of providing customized guided meditations for patients that they can use at home. It's an iPad app that physicians administer and then they can get reimbursed for. And then uh, patients use it at home and then the physicians can track those activities. So, so let's break it down. First yeah. of all, are you working with primary care physicians, primary care providers, or are you working directly with patients? Uh, we're, we're, we are eventually going to work with primary care providers. We're working with pain physicians or wherever chronic pain manifests itself. Okay. Chronic pain is defined okay. as three months at home. It could be oncology, rheumatology, sports medicine. So let's say you've partnered with a pain doc yeah. and he's seeing uh, a pain patient, yep. uh, how does he use your software? How does he use your platform? Yeah. So it's an iPad app that's been optimized for the flow. The patient comes in, we help the physician track various components of anxiety, depression, all these other parameters and other areas relevant to their pain, and then that's tracked longitudinally. And then those are reimbursed, and then the patient gets introduced to a well brain app to use at home. Okay. And then there's all these other modules that the physician can use, including other types of solutions such as uh, neurostimulation and getting an accelerated pre-approval with the insurance companies. So that's another solution the physician can employ. I guess the big question there is um, how how well it works. You know, the, you know if to pull someone off of an opioid dependence right. is obviously a big transition. Yeah. So what kind of success metrics have you seen? So the success metrics we've seen is basically in about less than five weeks of time, we've shown clinical reductions in electronic health records of patients' opiate prescriptions by 14%, reductions in emergency room visits by 18%, wow. and most importantly, the pain scores from 1 to 10, we've seen an average decrease by 30%. So if you're wow. at 9, you drop to 6. Okay. So those are some significant impacts. And, and remind me, what are they actually working through on the iPad? Okay. What are these sort of modalities? So on the modalities on the business side for the iPad, it's specifically there's various modules for physicians to use, including behavioral health, including a longitudinal tracking of their psychological factors. Those are reimbursable. And then at home, the patient does these customized guided meditations or other types of queries on how they're feeling. And then the physician's office can follow up with them even while they're remote at home and those are reimbursable events. So we've also solved the patient payer and provider economics. All right, okay, so let's talk about what's next for WellBrain. Yeah. What are you most excited about coming out of 2019 and into 2020? So the, the significant thing we're excited about is incorporating this telepsych component. What that incorporates is a lot of times, a lot of these pain patients have psychological issues, almost a huge majority of them. And we will solve this last mile equation because there's a critical shortage, at least in the United States, for psychologists. But we're going to enable that such that they can do instant telepsych sessions in conjunction with their brain provider. So it becomes a more concerted effort. It's not just the pain physician, but also this other secondary backup. And then making that very seamless for everyone involved. So we're really excited about getting that fully developed and up and running by the middle of this year. Very nice. Um, why is it important to come to events like the Startup Health Festival? Oh, I think it's a fantastic uh, nexus of like-minded people and whether you're looking for investors or business development, there's a lot of portfolio companies in Startup Health that I don't even know about, but there could be potential business development synergies or they might know of a hospital system that we may want to reach out to. So I think it's 
mutually beneficial. You give and you get back as well. Well, thanks for joining the live stream. It's all the time we've got. Yep. I hope it's a really productive couple days for you. Yep. And um, thanks so much. Yep. Thanks all for right. your time.